Welcome to the Secondary Suite Incentive Program. In this video, we will show you how to submit your Construction Complete Declaration, also referred to as the CCD. The CCD should be completed only after you have received an occupancy permit for the Secondary Suite. After logging in, you will be taken to the dashboard. This shows your file number on the left hand side of the screen. On the right hand side, under the Action column, click on the link that says to Declare Construction Complete. You will be taken to the Construction Complete Declaration page, where you will answer some questions about the completed suite. The first section has questions about your homeowner's insurance and occupancy permit. Answer yes or no to whether your homeowner's insurance covers the secondary suite. BC Housing must be listed as a loss payee on the insurance policy document. If BC Housing is not explicitly mentioned on your insurance policy, please contact your insurance provider to have BC Housing added to the policy. Next, answer yes or no to whether you have an occupancy permit. Next, enter your occupancy permit issue date. Then, provide the date for the construction start date. And construction end date. Next, enter the final construction cost for your secondary suite. The cost must be solely for the construction of the secondary suite. Any costs incurred for work not related to the secondary suite will not be considered. If your final construction cost is greater than your pre-approved amount, you can request an increase in funding or remain at the pre-approved lower amount. Approval of a funding increase will depend on available funding and a review of the documents provided to support the additional construction cost. The next section has questions about the unit details. Click on the drop-down menu and select the unit type. Next, select the appropriate unit size. Then select the number of bathrooms in the unit. Enter the number of existing mortgages on the property. Finally, if there are any accessibility features included in your unit, select Yes and choose the accessibility items from the drop-down list. If there are no accessibility features, select No. The next section is where you will enter homeowner information. To do that, click Edit under the Action column found on the right side of the screen. Type in your occupation and then click Submit. For each additional homeowner, repeat the previous steps to enter their occupation. Next, scroll to the bottom of the page and enter the information for your legal counsel or notary public who will be involved in registering the SSIP mortgage on title. Once you are finished, click Next to continue. On the Supporting Documents page, you will upload the required documents for your CCD. For each document category, click on the Detached Documents link under the Action column. The first document category is your homeowner's insurance. Remember, BC Housing must be listed as a loss payee on the insurance policy document. Click on Attach Documents. A file selection pop-up screen will appear. 
Click the Choose Files button. Select the file to attach and click Open. To send the document to your SSIP file, click Upload. The document status will change to Provided. Repeat the previous steps to upload your invoices and receipts related to the secondary suite. If you want to upload multiple files at once, hold the control key and then click on each file name that you want to upload. Once you have finished selecting your files, click Open, then click Upload. Next, upload your occupancy permit. Choose the file, click Open. Then click Upload. The last two document categories are the Schedule 8 Mortgage Holders Consent and Schedule B Homeowner Declaration. If you have one or more mortgages on your property, Consent must be given by your lender for BC Housing to add the SSIP mortgage. If you do not currently have a mortgage, write No Mortgage on Schedule A and upload it for document categories Schedule A and Schedule B. After all documents have been uploaded, the final step is to read the terms of the SSIP loan and then select Yes or No to confirm whether you understand the terms and conditions to qualify for SSIP mortgage forgiveness. Once you confirm that you understand the terms and conditions, click the Submit button. You will be taken to a confirmation screen. Congratulations! You have completed your CCD. You will be contacted through the SSIP portal after your CCD has been reviewed. Thank you for watching.